Hi everyone, and welcome back to Simple Understanding Channel. I'm excited to have you here for our CLTD Certified in Logistics, Transportation and Distribution Preparation course. This is another module of the nine module series, and I hope you're enjoying the journey so far. To make your studies easier, I've put together some great resources that you can download from the description below. First, a 600 plus page comprehensive ebook guide that covers every aspect of CLTD, from foundational logistics principles to advanced strategies. Packed with real world examples, case studies, and insights from leading companies, this resource provides the depth you need to master the curriculum. Second, practice with 2,500 questions covering both theoretical and scenario-based topics. Each question includes a detailed answer explanation, helping you grasp core concepts and practical applications. Third, access 1,850 flashcards with essential terms and definitions, organized by module for quick reviews and easy reinforcement of key concepts. This study package provides everything you need to excel in CLTD. From comprehensive content explanations to practical test taking strategies. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Be sure to check out the CLTD playlist for the previous modules and stay tuned for the upcoming ones. Are you ready? Let's get started. Module 3 Sustainability and Reverse Logistics which consist of two different sections, which are as the following. Section A, Sustainability. Section B, Reverse Logistics. Let's begin with breakdown for Module 3. Sustainability and Reverse Logistics. Section A, Sustainability with 15 detailed points. This section explores sustainable logistics practices that reduce environmental impact, improve efficiency, and align with corporate responsibility goals. Each point includes a thorough explanation and real-world examples, demonstrating how companies integrate sustainability into their logistics operations. Overview. Sustainability in logistics focuses on reducing environmental impact by implementing eco-friendly practices in transportation, warehousing, and packaging. A sustainable approach to logistics not only lowers costs, but also enhances brand reputation and meets increasing consumer expectations for corporate responsibility. This section examines sustainable strategies, such as reducing emissions, optimizing resources, and recycling, and highlights real-world examples that demonstrate the importance of sustainability in modern logistics. Key Topics 1. Reducing Carbon Emissions in Transportation Explanation Reducing carbon emissions in transportation is essential for sustainable logistics, as transportation is one of the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. Companies achieve this by optimizing routes, using energy-efficient vehicles, and consolidating shipments. Real Company Example UPS reduces carbon emissions by using electric vehicles and optimizing delivery routes through its Orion, on-road integrated optimization and navigation system, which minimizes miles driven and fuel consumption. Expansion. Emissions reduction strategies include using alternative fuels, electric or hybrid vehicles, and optimizing loading efficiency. Companies can significantly reduce their environmental footprint by focusing on sustainable transportation practices, aligning with sustainability goals, and reducing fuel costs. 2. Sustainable Warehousing Practices Explanation Sustainable warehousing practices minimize energy consumption and waste in warehouse operations. Implementing energy-efficient lighting, recycling, and water conservation measures contributes to a more eco-friendly logistics process. Real company example. IKEA's warehouses use solar panels, LED lighting, and energy-efficient designs, reducing energy consumption and supporting the company's commitment to sustainability. Expansion. Sustainable warehousing includes insulation to regulate temperature, energy-efficient HVAC systems, and rainwater harvesting. Such practices reduce operational costs while meeting environmental targets, 
benefiting both the company and the planet. 3. Green Packaging Solutions Explanation Green packaging uses eco-friendly materials, reduces packaging volume, and prioritizes recyclability, minimizing waste generated from packaging materials. This approach supports both environmental and cost efficiency goals. Real company example. Amazon has implemented frustration-free packaging to reduce excess packaging, using recyclable materials and minimizing plastic usage across its supply chain. Expansion. Green packaging includes biodegradable, recyclable, or reusable materials and designs that reduce material use. Adopting sustainable packaging practices meets customer expectations and reduces waste, aligning logistics with corporate sustainability efforts. 4. Resource Optimization in Logistics Explanation Optimizing resource use reduces waste, conserves energy, and minimizes logistics costs. This approach focuses on efficient use of materials, labor, and time, maximizing output with minimal environmental impact. Real company example, Procter & Gamble optimizes resource use by improving production efficiency and using recycled materials in its logistics processes, reducing waste and lowering overall resource consumption. Expansion, resource optimization includes improving loading efficiency, reducing idle times, and minimizing fuel use. Efficient resource management supports cost savings, reduces environmental impact, and enhances productivity across logistics networks. 5. Implementing Renewable Energy in Logistics Facilities Explanation Using renewable energy sources, such as solar or wind power, in logistics facilities reduces dependence on non-renewable resources and decreases greenhouse gas emissions, promoting sustainable operations. Real company example, Walmart powers several of its distribution centers with renewable energy, including solar panels, as part of its commitment to reach 100% renewable energy in its operations. Expansion, renewable energy investments reduce carbon footprints, lower utility costs, and support corporate sustainability goals. Facilities can be equipped with solar panels, wind turbines, or geothermal systems to generate clean energy, promoting a greener logistics network. 6. Sustainable Sourcing and Procurement Explanation Sustainable sourcing involves procuring materials and products from environmentally and socially responsible suppliers. This practice ensures that products meet eco-friendly standards, reducing the overall environmental impact of the supply chain. Real company example. Nike focuses on sustainable sourcing by working with suppliers that meet high environmental and social standards, minimizing the impact of its supply chain. Expansion. Sustainable sourcing includes evaluating supplier practices, reducing reliance on non-renewable resources, and choosing recyclable or biodegradable materials. Sustainable procurement reinforces corporate responsibility and reduces the logistics network's environmental footprint. 7. Reverse Logistics for Product Life Cycle Management Explanation Reverse logistics focuses on managing returns, recycling, and disposal in an eco-friendly manner. It extends the product life cycle by reclaiming value from return goods, reducing waste, and conserving resources. Real company example. HP has a robust reverse logistics system for its printers and cartridges, allowing customers to return used products for recycling, which reduces waste and supports a circular economy. Expansion. Reverse logistics includes product refurbishing, component recovery, and waste reduction. By managing returns sustainably, companies reduce landfill waste and support product recycling, promoting a circular economy and reducing environmental impact. 8. Optimizing Last Mile Delivery for Sustainability Explanation Last Mile Delivery Optimization reduces emissions and energy use by making the final leg of delivery more efficient. Strategies include route optimization, consolidation, 
and alternative delivery methods, such as locker systems. Real company example. FedEx utilizes alternative fuel vehicles and electric bikes for last-mile delivery in urban areas, reducing emissions and lowering fuel costs. Expansion. Sustainable last-mile delivery includes using local distribution hubs, eco-friendly vehicles, and flexible delivery options like pickup lockers. These methods reduce congestion, improve efficiency, and align with urban sustainability initiatives. 9. Reducing water usage in logistics operations. Explanation. Water conservation is crucial for sustainable logistics, especially in warehousing and production. Practices include using recycled water, reducing water waste, and implementing water-efficient equipment. Real company example. PepsiCo reduces water usage in its manufacturing and logistics facilities, recycling wastewater, and using efficient equipment to minimize consumption. Expansion. Water-saving measures include rainwater harvesting, water recycling systems, and efficient irrigation for landscaping. By conserving water, companies reduce costs and environmental impact, supporting sustainable resource management. 10. Implementing Waste Management and Recycling Programs Explanation Waste management and recycling programs in logistics facilities reduce landfill contributions by repurposing waste materials. Efficient waste management conserves resources, reduces disposal costs, and aligns with environmental goals. Real company example. Apple's logistics facilities include recycling programs that repurpose packaging materials and reduce e-waste, minimizing environmental impact. Expansion. Waste management includes recycling packaging, composting organic waste, and reusing materials. By implementing waste reduction strategies, companies contribute to a circular economy, reducing waste and supporting sustainability goals. 11. Encouraging sustainable practices in the supply chain. Explanation. Encouraging sustainability throughout the supply chain ensures that eco-friendly practices are adopted by suppliers and partners, creating a more sustainable end-to-end -end logistics process. Real company example. Unilever collaborates with suppliers to reduce water usage and energy consumption, promoting sustainability throughout its supply chain. Expansion. Promoting sustainable practices includes setting supplier standards, providing training, and incentivizing eco-friendly initiatives. By building a sustainable supply chain, companies reduce their overall environmental impact and align with broader sustainability goals. 12. Implementing Carbon Offsetting Programs Explanation Carbon offsetting programs allow companies to compensate for unavoidable emissions by investing in environmental projects. This approach helps companies achieve carbon neutrality and supports global sustainability efforts. Real company example. Microsoft invests in carbon offset projects, such as reforestation and renewable energy, to offset emissions across its logistics and operational activities. Expansion. Carbon offsetting involves supporting initiatives like reforestation, renewable energy projects, and community conservation efforts. By offsetting emissions, companies can achieve carbon neutrality, improving environmental sustainability, and enhancing corporate reputation. 13. Sustainable Packaging and Minimalism Explanation Minimalist packaging reduces material use, waste, and disposal costs. Sustainable packaging solutions prioritize reducing excess materials, shrinking package sizes, and improving recyclability. Real company example. Dell uses minimalist packaging for its electronics, reducing excess materials and using recyclable cardboard, minimizing waste in its logistics network. Expansion. Minimalist packaging includes reducing package size, eliminating unnecessary fillers, and using recyclable materials. Companies that embrace minimalist packaging save on costs and support sustainability, reducing waste generated throughout the logistics process. 14. Engaging in the Circular Economy Explanation The circular economy focuses on reusing, refurbishing, 
and recycling products to extend their life cycle. Engaging in the circular economy conserves resources, reduces waste, and promotes sustainability. Real company example. Patagonia encourages customers to return used items for repair or recycling, supporting a circular economy and reducing waste associated with disposable clothing. Expansion. Circular economy practices include product take-back programs, component recycling, and refurbishing. Companies that support the circular economy reduce reliance on new resources, improve sustainability, and build stronger relationships with environmentally conscious customers. 15. Transparency and Reporting in Sustainability Practices Explanation Transparent reporting on sustainability efforts builds trust with consumers and stakeholders, showcasing a company's commitment to environmental responsibility. Sustainability reporting includes metrics on emissions, waste reduction, and resource conservation. Real company example. IKEA publishes annual sustainability reports detailing progress on emissions reduction, waste management, and renewable energy usage, reinforcing its commitment to environmental goals. Expansion. Transparency includes setting clear sustainability goals, reporting on achievements, and sharing challenges. By openly communicating sustainability efforts, companies demonstrate accountability, build credibility, and align with stakeholders who prioritize environmental responsibility. Summary of Section A. Sustainability. Section A highlights the importance of sustainability within logistics, focusing on eco-friendly practices in transportation, warehousing, packaging, and supply chain management. Through strategies such as emissions reduction, green packaging, renewable energy, and waste management, companies reduce environmental impact and align with corporate responsibility goals. Real-world examples from UPS, Nike, IKEA, and Unilever demonstrate how sustainable practices enhance brand reputation, lower costs, and meet growing consumer demand for responsible business practices. Sustainable logistics not only benefits the environment, but also strengthens resilience, reduces expenses, and supports a more ethical supply chain. Let's take a small practice test for Section A. 1. What is a primary goal of reducing carbon emissions in logistics transportation? A. Lower costs. B. Increase brand loyalty. C. Improve delivery speed. D. Conserve warehouse space. Answer. A. Explanation. Reducing emissions, such as through route optimization and energy-efficient vehicles, reduces fuel costs and supports environmental goals, making logistics more sustainable. 2. Which practice is essential in sustainable warehousing? A. Installing carpeted flooring. B. Using renewable energy sources. C. Increasing lighting hours. D. Reducing warehouse staff. Answer B. Explanation. Sustainable warehousing includes energy-efficient lighting, water conservation, and renewable energy, helping companies lower environmental impact and operational costs. 3. Which of the following best describes green packaging solutions? A. Uses only plastic. B. Avoids all materials. C. Reduces packaging waste and enhances recyclability. D. Increases packaging volume. Answer C. Explanation. Green packaging reduces material use, encourages recycling, and reduces waste, aligning with eco-friendly and cost-efficiency goals in logistics. 4. In sustainable logistics, resource optimization is aimed at A. Minimizing labor costs. B. Reducing resource waste. C. Increasing warehousing space. D. Decreasing product quality. Answer B. Explanation. Resource optimization maximizes output by using materials, labor, and time efficiently, conserving resources, and supporting environmental goals. 5. How does using renewable energy in logistics facilities benefit companies? A. 
Reduces reliance on fossil fuels. B. Increases production time. C. Limits recycling capabilities. D. Reduces product lifespan. Answer. A. Explanation. Using renewable energy, such as solar or wind, in logistics facilities reduces fossil fuel reliance, lowering carbon emissions, and supporting sustainable practices. 6. What is a key component of reverse logistics for sustainability? A. Expanding inventory storage. B. Managing product returns sustainably. C. Reducing customer satisfaction. D. Eliminating warning management. Answer B. Explanation. Sustainable reverse logistics involves handling returns, recycling, and refurbishment in ways that reduce waste and support the circular economy. 7. What is the goal of optimizing last-mile delivery in sustainable logistics? A. Lowering emissions and energy use. B. Increasing delivery times. C. Reducing vehicle size. D. Limiting customer delivery options. Answer. A. Explanation. Optimizing last-mile delivery such as through route consolidation and eco-friendly vehicles, helps lower emissions and supports urban sustainability. 8. Which approach reduces water consumption in logistics operations? A. Using single-use packaging. B. Implementing water recycling systems. C. Ignoring landscaping needs. D. Increasing irrigation. Answer B. Explanation. Water recycling and efficient irrigation systems conserve water in logistics facilities, supporting sustainable resource management. 9. Sustainable packaging primarily focuses on A. Reducing excess materials B. Using more layers for protection C. Increasing product dimensions D. Adding extra fillers Answer A. Explanation Minimalist and sustainable packaging prioritizes reducing excess materials and improving recyclability, lowering waste and disposal costs. 10. Which of these practices supports the circular economy in logistics? A. Disposing of items quickly. B. Ignoring return options. C. Repairing and recycling used products. D. Avoiding customer feedback. Answer C. Explanation. The circular economy in logistics promotes reuse, refurbishment, and recycling, extending product life and conserving resources, making the supply chain more sustainable. Quick reminder. If you're finding this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with anyone who may benefit. Your support really makes a difference. Let's get back to it. Here's a comprehensive breakdown for Module 3. Sustainability and Reverse Logistics, Section B. Reverse Logistics with 15 Detailed Points. This section examines the process of reverse logistics, which involves handling returns, recycling, refurbishing, and redistributing products back through the supply chain. Reverse Logistics supports sustainability by extending product life cycles, reducing waste, and creating value from returned goods. Each point includes explanations, examples, and insights into the importance of reverse logistics. Overview. Reverse logistics is the process of moving goods from their final destination back to the manufacturer or distribution center for returns, recycling, refurbishment, or disposal. It plays a critical role in sustainability and supply chain management, helping companies recover value, reduce waste, and meet environmental goals. This section explores the key practices, benefits, and challenges of reverse logistics, using real-world examples to illustrate how companies implement reverse logistics to support customer satisfaction, resource conservation, and sustainable operations. Key Topics 1. Understanding the Basics of Reverse Logistics Explanation Reverse logistics involves the flow of products, materials, and information from the end customer back to the manufacturer or distributor. It includes managing returns, repairs, recycling, 
and disposal, all of which are essential for maximizing value recovery and minimizing waste. Real company example. Best Buy has a comprehensive reverse logistics program, allowing customers to return electronics for recycling, repair, or replacement, supporting sustainability and customer satisfaction. Expansion. Effective reverse logistics requires clear processes, strong customer support, and efficient handling of returned goods. By designing efficient reverse logistics, companies can minimize costs, reduce waste, and enhance customer loyalty, creating a more sustainable supply chain. 2. The Role of Returns Management in Reverse Logistics Explanation Returns management is a core component of reverse logistics. Handling products returned by customers due to defects, dissatisfaction, or end-of-life disposal. Efficient returns management ensures that companies can process returns quickly and recover value from returned items. Real company example. Amazon has an efficient returns management process, allowing customers to return items easily and quickly, with options for refunds, exchanges, or repairs, enhancing the customer experience. Expansion. Returns management includes creating a customer-friendly return policy, optimizing return logistics, and using data to reduce return rates. Effective returns management improves customer satisfaction, reduces costs, and helps companies recover value from return products. 3. Refurbishment and Repair in Reverse Logistics Explanation Refurbishment and repair involve restoring returned products to a saleable condition, allowing companies to resell or reuse items rather than discarding them. This approach extends product life cycles and supports waste reduction. Real company example. Apple's certified refurbished program takes returned products, repairs and restores them, and resells them at a reduced price, supporting both sustainability and affordability. Expansion. Refurbishment processes include inspecting, cleaning, repairing, and repackaging items. By refurbishing products, companies reduce waste and create new revenue streams, making reverse logistics a valuable component of sustainable supply chain management. 4. Recycling and Material Recovery Explanation Recycling in reverse logistics involves breaking down returned products to recover valuable materials, which can then be reused in new manufacturing processes. Recycling minimizes waste and reduces demand for raw materials. Real company example. HP has a recycling program for its printers and ink cartridges, reclaiming plastic and metal components for reuse, which supports its commitment to environmental sustainability. Expansion. Recycling includes disassembling products, sorting materials, and processing them for reuse. Effective recycling reduces environmental impact and resource consumption, aligning reverse logistics with sustainable business practices. 5. Disposal and Environmentally Friendly Waste Management Explanation. When products cannot be repaired, reused, or recycled, Responsible disposal is essential. Environmentally friendly waste management in reverse logistics includes safe disposal practices that minimize landfill contributions and environmental harm. Real company example. IKEA disposes of non-recyclable materials in compliance with environmental standards, ensuring that discarded items are processed in an eco-friendly manner. Expansion. Eco-friendly disposal includes waste separation, proper disposal of hazardous materials, and choosing environmentally certified waste management partners. By managing waste responsibly, companies support sustainability and minimize environmental impact. 6. Return to Vendor RTV Processes Explanation Return to Vendor RTV Processes involve sending defective or excess products back to suppliers. RTV reduces inventory carrying costs and shifts responsibility for defective products back to the supplier. Real company example. Walmart uses RTV for products that are defective or unsold, returning them to vendors to manage inventory 
and avoid waste. Expansion. RTV includes coordinating with suppliers, tracking returned items, and negotiating return agreements. Effective RTV processes support inventory management, reduce costs, and foster strong supplier relationships, making reverse logistics more efficient. 7. Handling warranty and recall returns. Explanation. Warranty and recall returns are a crucial part of reverse logistics, ensuring that defective products are returned and replaced or repaired. This process safeguards customer safety, maintains brand reputation, and supports regulatory compliance. Real company example. Toyota's recall management system quickly processes returned vehicles for repairs, protecting customer safety and maintaining trust in the brand. Expansion. Warranty and recall returns require efficient tracking, customer communication, and quality control. Properly managing these returns minimizes risk, protects brand reputation, and ensures regulatory compliance, demonstrating the importance of reverse logistics in risk management. 8. Managing seasonal and overstock returns. Explanation. Seasonal and overstock returns involve handling unsold products after peak seasons or when inventory exceeds demand. Efficiently managing these returns reduces holding costs and prevents waste. Real company example. Zara manages overstock by returning unsold items to centralized warehouses, where they are redistributed or discounted, reducing excess inventory and supporting sustainable retailing. Expansion. Managing seasonal returns includes planning for demand fluctuations, creating storage solutions, and redistributing items. By efficiently handling excess stock, companies reduce waste and inventory costs, making reverse logistics an integral part of inventory management. 9. Circular Economy and Reverse Logistics Explanation. The circular economy emphasizes product reuse, recycling, and remanufacturing, creating a closed-loop system where products are continually cycled back through the supply chain. Reverse logistics enables the circular economy by facilitating product returns and material recovery. Real company example. Patagonia encourages customers to return used clothing for resale, repair, or recycling, aligning with circular economy principles and reducing waste. Expansion. The circular economy relies on efficient reverse logistics for returns, refurbishing, and recycling. By supporting circularity, companies reduce resource consumption, enhance sustainability, and create a responsible product life cycle. 10. Reverse Logistics Cost Management Explanation Managing costs in reverse logistics involves balancing the expenses of returns, refurbishing, and recycling with the value recovered from these processes. Cost-effective reverse logistics supports profitability and sustainability. Real company example. Dell minimizes reverse logistics costs by refurbishing and reselling return computers, maximizing the value of returned items while keeping logistics costs low. Expansion. Cost management includes optimizing transportation, reducing handling expenses, and improving refurbishment efficiency. By managing reverse logistics costs, companies maintain profitability and ensure sustainable practices remain economically viable. 11. Technology in Reverse Logistics Explanation Technology in Reverse Logistics includes systems like Warehouse Management Systems, WMS, tracking software, and data analytics to improve the efficiency and accuracy of returns processing. Real company example. Zappos uses advanced tracking software to streamline returns, allowing customers to track the return process and receive refunds or exchanges quickly. Expansion. Technology supports reverse logistics through real-time tracking, automated processing, and data-driven decision-making. By implementing technology, companies enhance customer satisfaction and efficiency, supporting a seamless returns experience. 12. Customer Support and Satisfaction in Returns Explanation Effective customer support in returns enhances the customer experience, 
making the returns process smooth and transparent. Good customer support in reverse logistics builds trust and encourages brand loyalty. Real company example. Nordstrom offers a flexible return policy with easy processes, providing excellent customer support that fosters loyalty and repeat business. Expansion. Customer support includes clear return policies, easy access to returns information, and responsive service. By prioritizing customer satisfaction in reverse logistics, companies enhance brand reputation and customer retention. 13. Data analysis for reverse logistics optimization. Explanation. Data analysis in reverse logistics tracks return reasons, product conditions, and processing times. This data helps companies improve product quality, reduce return rates, and optimize reverse logistics operations. Real company example. Amazon uses data analytics to understand return patterns, enabling it to reduce return rates by identifying common issues and improving product descriptions. Expansion. Data analysis includes tracking return frequency, identifying defective items, and monitoring return processing times. By analyzing data, companies gain insights into product quality and customer behavior, reducing reverse logistics costs and enhancing efficiency. 14. Environmental Impact of Reverse Logistics Explanation Reverse logistics supports sustainability by reducing waste, recycling materials, and conserving resources. An environmentally friendly reverse logistics process aligns with corporate responsibility and reduces environmental impact. Real company example. Samsung's Take Back program allows customers to return used electronics for recycling, reducing e-waste and conserving valuable materials. Expansion. Environmental benefits of reverse logistics include less landfill waste, lower resource extraction, and decreased emissions. By implementing eco-friendly reverse logistics, companies support a sustainable supply chain and align with environmental goals. 15. Measuring Success in Reverse Logistics Explanation Measuring reverse logistics success involves tracking key metrics like return rate, processing time, and recovery rate. These metrics help companies assess performance identify improvement areas, and enhance reverse logistics efficiency. Real company example. HP measures the success of its reverse logistics by tracking recovery rates, recycling efficiency, and customer satisfaction with return processes, ensuring continuous improvement. Expansion. Success metrics include return processing costs, refurbishment rates, and customer satisfaction. By measuring performance, Companies can refine reverse logistics practices, enhance efficiency, and support a sustainable, customer-centric approach. Summary of Section B, Reverse Logistics Section B emphasizes the importance of reverse logistics in sustainability, value recovery, and customer satisfaction. Through practices like returns management, refurbishment, recycling, and data analysis, companies reduce waste, extend product life cycles, and conserve resources. Real-world examples from Amazon, Apple, and Patagonia highlight how reverse logistics supports a circular economy, minimizes environmental impact, and enhances brand loyalty. An efficient reverse logistics process aligns with sustainability goals, reduces costs, and creates value for companies and customers making it a crucial component of a responsible and resilient supply chain. Let's take a small practice test for Section B. 1. What is the primary purpose of reverse logistics? A. Increase sales. B. Handle product returns. C. Manage employee turnover. D. Reduce customer complaints. Answer B. Explanation. Reverse logistics focuses on handling returns, recycling, refurbishment, and disposal, maximizing value recovery from returned products and supporting sustainability. 2. Which of the following is not a component of reverse logistics? A. Returns management. B. Product disposal. C. 
Inventory storage. D. Recycling. Answer C. Explanation. Inventory storage is typically a part of forward logistics. Reverse logistics involves returns, disposal, refurbishment, and recycling. 3. In reverse logistics, what is the benefit of refurbishment? A. Increases disposal. B. Supports product reuse. C. Reduces transportation costs. D. Eliminates warranty costs. Answer B. Explanation. Refurbishment restores returned products, making them resaleable, which supports reuse and waste reduction, a key aspect of reverse logistics. 4. Which metric is least likely to measure reverse logistics success? A. Recovery rate. B. Processing time. C. Employee productivity. D. Return rate. Answer C. Explanation. Metrics like recovery rate, processing time, and return rate directly measure reverse logistics performance, while employee productivity generally pertains to overall business efficiency. 5. Return to vendor, RTV, processes help companies to A. Reduce inventory costs. B. Increase customer loyalty. C. Improve product marketing. D. Reduce employee costs. Answer. A. Explanation. RTV reduces the burden of defective products by sending them back to suppliers, which helps to lower inventory carrying costs. 6. In a circular economy model, reverse logistics is important because it A. Prevents recalls. B. Supports product disposal. C. Facilitates closed-loop cycles. D. Increases product prices. Answer C. Explanation. In a circular economy, reverse logistics enables product returns, refurbishment, and recycling, thus supporting a closed-loop, sustainable system. 7. The primary role of data analysis in reverse logistics is to A. Increase sales. B. Track product usage trends. C. Optimize reverse processes. D. Improve employee morale. Answer C. Explanation. Data analysis helps improve reverse logistics by identifying product issues, optimizing returns handling, and improving efficiency based on insights from return products. 8. An efficient return management system primarily benefits. A. Inventory management. B. Customer satisfaction. C. Product quality. D. Employee retention. Answer B. Explanation. Effective returns management ensures smooth processing of returns, which improves customer satisfaction and supports brand loyalty. 9. In reverse logistics, which is the most sustainable approach when products cannot be reused or recycled. Refurbishment. B. Incineration. C. Disposal. D. Eco-friendly waste management. Answer D. Explanation. When reuse and recycling aren't options, eco-friendly waste management practices ensure minimal environmental impact by safely disposing of non-recyclable items. 10. Technology in reverse logistics primarily aids in A. Employee training. B. Automated processing. C. Increasing product prices. D. Customer acquisition. Answer B. Explanation. Technology, like tracking and WMS, enhances reverse logistics efficiency by automating return processing, tracking returns, and improving customer satisfaction. Thanks so much for sticking with me until the end. I'm really glad to have you here. Don't forget to check the description below for links to all the study materials. You'll find everything you need to succeed. Also, be sure to watch the previous modules in the CLTD playlist and stay tuned for the next one. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support the content and brings more valuable resources your way. Until next time, keep up the great work, and I'll see you in the next module.